HAL Tejas is an LCA, light combat aircraft, or fourth generation supersonic delta wing light fighter aircraft made by HAL, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, as the first fighter aircraft made in India. This aircraft was officially named Tejas, which means light. The aircraft originates from the light combat aircraft, LCA, program, initiated in the 1980s to replace India's aging MiG-21 fighters, part of a general fleet modernization program. Tejas currently has three production models, Tejas Mark I, Mark I-A and a trainer variant. The IAF currently has 40 Tejas Mark I and 83 Tejas Mark I-A orders, including Tejas trainers. The IAF plans to purchase 324 aircraft in all variants, including the Tejas Mark II currently being developed by HAL. The Tejas Mark II is expected to be ready for production in 2026 to 2027. The first concept was made in 1975 but the project failed due to the lack of obtaining the desired engines from IAF, Indian Air Force, from foreign parties. The LCA project was continued again in 1983 and in 1984 ADA, Aeronautical Development Agency, was formed from HAL to manage the LCA Tejas program as an urgent need to replace the IF MiG-21 aircraft used from 1970 to 1995. ADA is a national consortium that oversees more than 100 defense laboratories, industrial organizations and academic institutions, to develop the fly-by-wire combat system, flight control system and multi-mode pulse Doppler, but they severely limited foreign's role in the project. The aircraft uses a delta wing design and uses a single afterburner jet engine and for the initial option HAL uses an American-made jet engine. Namely the General Electric F404 GEIN-20 as a temporary power plant until their own turbofan jet engine, namely the Kaveri GTRE GTX 35 BS, is ready. The ambitious LCA Tejas project uses many local components in its work, there are around 35 main avionic components made in-house and only involves three foreign contractors in the work on multifunction displays MFDs. From Sextant, France, and Elbit, Israel, Helmet Mounted Display and Sight, HMDS, queuing system by Elbit, laser pod supplied by Raphael, Israel, and Martin Bake rejection seat for imported components. However, in May 1998 India carried out a nuclear weapons test which resulted in the country receiving embargo sanctions and the components that were intended to be imported had to be made themselves. At first they developed CFC, composite fiber carbon, technology and modern glass cockpit, even ADA even made a profit. This profit was obtained from the license for the Autoly Integrated Automated Software System technology for the design and development of 3D laminated composite elements which was purchased by Airbus and Infosys. Through continuous technological research, ADA was finally able to produce 70% of the main components of the aircraft, including homemade MMR, multimode radar, so that it could minimize the purchase of imported components to as little as possible. The concept was worked on from October 1987 to September 1988 and ADA appointed Dassault Aviation for ASI as a consultant to supervise the manufacture of the aircraft prototype. The Tejas program experienced numerous delays that took development at least a decade. The first problem was that when the design was completed in 1990, a government commission found many deficiencies in critical technological areas. So the government decided to create two technology demonstrators to ensure the resolution of technological problems. The first aircraft of this technology demonstrator was completed in 1995, but difficulties with the flight control system and manufacturing of structural composite components meant that this aircraft could not fly.
Another major problem was in 1998 when India's nuclear tests led to the US sanctioning a ban on the sale of General Electric F404 turbofan engines to India. These sanctions also led to the cessation of assistance from Lockheed Martin in the development of flight control systems. India decided to continue with the program despite the many problems it faced and decided to make its own jet engine to replace the F-404. This decision led to other problems due to production delays and increased costs for developing the new Kaveri engine. This problem was further exacerbated by the decision to buy back additional F-404 engines for initial production Tejas, after the US reversed its sanctions. It is hoped that the Kaveri engine can be put into service in 2010. The first technology demonstrator, DD-1, was finally able to fly in 2001. This was followed by the DD-2 and 2 prototype aircraft, PV-1 and PV-2. These planes are used to carry out trials and test advanced technology that will be used on the Tejas.